Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about word morphing in PowerPoint. This is a really interesting effect and I touched on this briefly in another video, but in that video I was talking more about morphing characters within a word and rearranging them to spell other words. In this case we're going to be rearranging words on the page. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to start with a simple poem. The poem reads, Inertia il areas accrues a less. Inertia hilarious accrues a less. This is an example of a holo rhyme in which the first line and the second line, they are different words, but they sound the same. So we're gonna morph this poem into a couple of different alternatives. First alternative is the same words, but I rearranged them on the screen. Plus I added some different effects. I'm gonna do that once more. I'm gonna morph into another slide where again, it's the same words, but they are rearranged on the screen. So let's see how we did that. We have first the poem, and then I use the morph transition to have the same poem in a different format. And I can change this again. I can make this wider or more narrow, and it'll change how the words display and morph on the screen. And then I have another one. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete some of these slides, and we're gonna start just with this basic slide. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate this slide, and I'm going to apply the morph transition to the slide, and I'm going to make sure that I'm morphing the words as opposed to the objects or the characters. The words are going to stay the same from one slide to the other, but they're going to rearrange on the slide. And so now what I'm going to do is insert a picture from stock images. This is just for an example. It doesn't really matter which image I use, but I'm going to grab an image, um, something with a, a decent background. And just for fun, I'm going to go over to the design ideas and I'm just going to pick one of these designs. Now what I'm gonna do is duplicate that slide. Once again, I'm going to delete the image and don't worry about the formatting. I'm gonna insert another image from the stock images and I'll just look for something that that's a bit different. This is pretty different, nice and blue. It's all random. And I'm going to pick something that was different. Okay, so that's a bit different. I'll go ahead and do one more. Uh, duplicate the slide. I'm gonna delete the image, find yet another stock image, just something that we can play with. Oh, there's something that really jumps out at me. Some purple with a bokeh effect. Well, let's pick something that looks fun. Uh, perhaps this. It's kind of dark and austere. And so I'm going to make sure that the transitions are set to morph and words. And since I duplicated the slides, then I know those are um, the same effects. Another thing I could look at is the duration. It's two seconds. Perhaps I want to make this maybe 1.5 seconds and I'll apply that to all the slides. One other thing, one last thing that I can do is after I morph, I can just have it advance the slide automatically. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's put this 1.5 seconds, advance the slide automatically, and let's see what that gives us. Now it ends automatically since this last slide is set to advance automatically. I'm gonna change that to on mouse click. Actually, let me, first of all, I think that was a little fast. I think even two seconds might be a little fast. Let's change that to two and a half seconds and advance automatically. I'm going to apply it to all, but then on this last slide, I'm going to change that to on mouse click. And let's see if that gives us the effect that we are interested in. So I think that's pretty interesting. What we saw is a morph in terms of the words. The words stayed the same. They rearranged on the page, but they changed in size. They changed in the position on the page. They even changed in font. The last thing we can do that I noticed we didn't do is we didn't change the color. So let's add that as one last thing. I'm going to change the color of the font, maybe make this off a little accented. This font right here, Perhaps we can make that a shade of bluish green. And then this one here, we'll wanna keep it light, but maybe find a light purple. Uh, maybe even change the font. I think that the fonts weren't really changing, so let's go ahead and change those fonts as well. Now, if you play with fonts, if you're going from serif to sans serif, it might not be as seamless a transition as if you're not changing the fonts dramatically, but we need to have some fun. Let's explore, let's try some options here and see what this looks like. So that's really an interesting effect and you can have a lot of fun with this, so be creative.